Ok, buenos días a todos. Bienvenidos a nuestro curso de Español 112. Welcome to our Spanish 112 class. Now that we've got a little bit of, uh, about a week under our belt with the course, I wanted to prepare this video to help keep us moving forward and give you a little bit of a couple of hints on things that will help you progress and have a successful experience in our class. First, I wanted to start off with a little bit on my Spanish lab. Just by way of reminder, if you haven't been into my Spanish lab, lab please do so. Get things going so you're not uh, trying to play catch up at the last minute. Remember that um, move forward in the calendar until you see, regardless of the semester, the little alarm clocks, which are the assignments. Okay? It's very important that you follow the instructions here under getting started to do the browser tune-up regularly and also to disable pop-up blockers. If you're having issues with not being able to see activities as you click on them, uh, the best bet is that you have not disabled the pop-up blocker for My Spanish Lab website only. You can do it for My Spanish Web, My Spanish Lab website. Just follow the instructions under this uh, link. Also, please, if you haven't done so, reset set your time zone under the profile, follow the instructions here. The default um, time zone is east, Eastern Time, uh, so if you live in Eastern Time you don't need to reset it, but the majority of us will be in in New Mexico for Mountain Time, so you'll need to reset that. Otherwise the days and times of your assignments will be off and may cause you to turn some stuff in late. Okay. Also, it's very important before you do activities, uh, especially the exams, to run the t browser tune-up regularly throughout the semester. Um, it just checks to make sure you have the most recent versions of things like Java and other, pro other programs or apps that, the, that my Spanish lab needs to function properly. Okay, so yeah, take the time to do that and you'll have a successful experience with that. Okay, now back to our course home in, in Canvas. Uh, the best place to always go to find out what is due is our calendar here at the bottom of the page. You'll notice that uh, um, I've added something here and that's why I wanted to give this little video by way of introduction. Uh, you'll notice as you read in the syllabus there's a section on online participation points since this is an online class, we will be doing homework. That's tarea in Spanish, as many of you know. Um, so in addition to the My Spanish Lab assignments, we will be doing one homework assignment per chapter. Uh, so I'll take you through a rundown of that right now. Essentially what it is, is a step-by-step -step, um, process so that you can uh, learn the things you need to learn to be prepared and, and meet the goals and objectives of our course. We always start out with what we'll be talking about and some objectives. <clears throat> uh, remember also that in our syllabus there's the three C's option at the end that option one is to take the final exam worth 100 points or option two is to do other assignments throughout the semester that will let you earn a hundred points so you don't have to take the final exam. I will put suggestions for that in there since this chapter, chap Capitulo 7, deals with la comida, different foods. If you would like, since this is an online class, we can't bring the food into class, but if you would like to prepare uh, a video, kind of a cooking video, your own cooking show where you show yourself preparing one of the, uh, a Latin dish from one of the countries that we're studying or, or otherwise, whatever might interest you, uh, send that link to me. We don't need to share it with everybody unless you want to put it on YouTube or something like that and I can give you points for that. I'll, I'll give different suggestions in these tareas for each chapter that will allow you to earn points since I know many of you can't come to Las Cruces for our other activities like our movie nights and things like that. Okay, so the best thing to do is just come down, you know, read everything, come down and follow step one, two, three, four, five, etc. 
um, where it says repasar or review. You just need to review those things in the vocabulary. I recommend you use, you know, repeat those aloud when you if you're using the e-text version of of the book in my Spanish lab, which is accessible by just clicking on e-text right here in my Spanish lab. Uh, those things are pronounced for you, so you can practice with that. I recommend doing that. Uh, the only things you need to type out are the ones that say completar or complete. Okay, so in this case, you would complete these, this activity on that page and this activity on that page, etc. Now, when it comes to the grammar points, like in this chapter, we're talking about direct object pronouns and also the preterite or past tense of verbs and irregular forms of those verbs. Uh, these offer links that go directly to videos in my Spanish lab so you can click on those and I always recommend clicking on the little box with the arrow coming out of it and you just click on those and a pronoun replaces this a noun gives you when the a presentation noun has already been mentioned in the conversation on those different aspects of the of the grammar okay so again where it says repasar just review it where it says completar you're going to actually write it down you'll see that there are a lot of repasar or leer throughout the the book or throughout the process here but please do all the steps once you're completed uh, just submit them under assignments uh, as you would normally with any canvas assignment okay you'll notice that the due date don't pay attention to the due date in the video. Please pay attention to whatever due date is on your calendar, but it will show up there or on the calendar. You'll notice that it is usually due the day before the My Spanish Lab work is due. Um, so my recommendation, as always, is to finish things early. Uh, don't wait until the last minute. If you do a little bit at a time, that will be the best experience for you. So first thing to be due will be the chapter homework, then the My Spanish Lab, followed by the test. So that will prepare you the best way. Okay? All right. Well, as the bottom line says down here, avisenme si hay preguntas. Let me know if you have any questions about this and anything I can help out with. Okay? Es muy bien. Hasta luego.